Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. I have no idea what is in this box. This is really confusing. I, I recognize the name on the front. I just didn't, I don't remember talking with them. I don't, I don't know why they would send me something. Um, but uh, I'm very curious to find out what it is either way, it, whether or not it's actually who I think it is. But in any case, uh, I'm going to share this with you guys. Um, so thanks so much to whoever sent this. We'll find out soon. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. It's one of those true mystery unboxings, which sometimes, you know, turn out to be uh, pretty great. I honestly don't know how I want to uh, approach this package. So we're going to do this and we're going to come in from the bottom, um, which I'm sure is going to enrage some people. Like I'm sure that what I'm doing right now just makes absolutely no sense. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with it. Is this... Oh, it's a, it's, it's a best deck. Well, 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 who, who sent this? <laughs> I'm so confused. I, I have no idea where this came from because best deck sends me stuff. Sometimes the designers of best deck knives send me stuff and sometimes retailers send me stuff. I have no idea where this came from from okay well thank you to whoever sent this maybe it was best I it just doesn't all right so what do we have here just it's s y n is that the name or is that like a code or something i'm not really sure let's move this and we oh no well, now wait a second now hold on now i do i do remember this yeah Ah, uh, yeah 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 the name of this will magically appear on screen right now this is all coming back to me <laughs> that's pretty cool what is going on with that blade that is wild so we have i mean it does you can sort of rest your thumb here and then oh that's nice too this is actually yeah that works <laughs> um and then we have back here we got an l max blade the uh, positioning of this thumb rectangle is just perfect for the reverse flick and if you get at it and kind of launch this way It'll work um, with the thumb there, like I mean, just like like the thumb flick, I guess. You can wheel it out pretty easily. It's like a lumpy <laughs> pocket razor, right? I mean, it's this. I'm gonna. I, I would call this. You, some people call it cleaver or razor blade shape, right? It's just you've got a straight edge, um, and it's also hollow ground. Yeah, I wouldn't call it aggressively, but it does get it does get pretty darn thin. Flat up here, hand rub, no, tumbled, tumbled flat. Machine uh, belt satin finish on the uh, bevel down to the cutting edge. A little bit of jimping here. I would venture to guess you're going to have a few different options for scale materials. I don't think that this is, if I remember correctly, I don't think this is absolutely available yet i think i think this is in pre-order maybe I don't, i'll i'll link it whatever all the information about this will be linked in the description so we have blasted it's a faux bolster right my card is scales um <laughs> you know what i was about to say i was about to say yeah this feels very best deck so i'm gonna guess that's who the manufacturer is yeah no crap that's it <laughs> <laughs> yeah um not i haven't had enough uh caffeine yet obviously titanium clip titanium backspacer pretty typical build outside of that and we have no milling on the inside but that's fine l max i think that's fine we don't see enough l max um in, in uh you know the 2023 knife world it seemed like we that like every everything was L Max for a while there, or every it was like either S thirty five N or L Max, right? Um, I like L Max. Let's go ahead and I'm just sort of feeling out the action. The action feels great, uh, nice and smooth. The overall length of this guy, this is not the review, just an unboxing and first impressions. But we'll do some specs. Overall length is exactly eight inches. Blade length is actually about 3.6 inches. And then your cutting edge is about 3.35. Uh, 
Um, let's do a couple size comparisons, I think. How about up, up against the uh, uh, Pyrite XL or the large Pyrite? And then here's the standard Pyrite, so kind of in between. Let's do Ontario Rat 1 and Rat 2. There we go. I've got them all tucked away, so it's taking me a sec to get them out. Um, a little closer. I mean, it, this this isn't... It doesn't have too skinny of a profile. It still has like a full-size knife profile. Um, so right at 8 inches, you're going to be at about the same overall length as the Ritter Hogue. Where's the bug out? Right here. It's still definitely bigger and thicker than the bug out for sure. So yeah, that's about what it feels like. And ergonomically, it feels good. Uh, the pocket clip, you can feel it. I mean, it's long enough and it's about yeah, out to the center. So you can feel it in your palm and it's fairly high. But it's contoured or I guess, yeah, I don't want to say radius. It's contour at the top. There's no like, you know, pointiness or sharpness there on the bill. Um, so it's just, I mean, you're just feeling the material there, but at least it's not like a big elf shoe, right? Or ski jump. Um, weight. We should probably do that. Did we do it? I'm going to guess this weighs like four and a half ounces. That'd be my guess. Nope. Four ounces, 4.13. So, I mean, pretty run of the mill. Um, like a, just like a normal full size pocket knife. Uh, pretty reasonable weight. Yeah, I mean, it's, we've seen, okay, I mean, it's, when I say we've seen this before, we've seen th this blade shape plenty of times. What I have not seen is a bunch of extra thumb notches down here. Almost, it's almost like, um, it makes me think of the Umnumzan with all the extra humps, right? I don't know if the intention was to create a specific, like, three different positions for your thumb but if that was the case it does kind of work right there's no jimping in here so it's hard to say that you can like comfortably lock in but choking up and you know as far as like the how the position is complemented by the index finger this feels good this i guess if you you know were really doing like some kind of detailed work right and then i have to assume that this position here is not meant for your thumb i have to assume that this position here is meant for your index finger and if that's the case it's perfect this is an absolutely ideal draw cut position for your finger. And I don't know what the final notch is for. I imagine just aesthetic. Or that, ne that wasn't necessarily the intention at all. And it was just like, hey, let's just make this look cool, right? All of these edges are nicely knocked down, which is cool. Uh, I don't like it to be sure. I mean, it, you know, if you like to strike ferro rod off of, or something, then you, you might prefer that, but I, I don't. So that's nice. Lanyard hole, no lefty. Uh, position, which is a bummer. I wish, wish we could always get these with lefty options. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, like I said, I'll link this uh, down in the description. You guys can check it out if you want. Uh, but that's going to be it for the unboxing and first impressions. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.